Hey, Fessy. Oh gosh, we're in our talk just about nothing. Excuse me. We want to preach. Theme. That was it. Whatever was said in God's word this morning. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is still working. Come here. I want you to know that. But some preachers do that. Talk to preach about what's going on in the church. Getting to the kitchen. Wisdom. It did not do that. There, I see volumes of that. But I tell you, y'all just don't know me. Y'all have helped me this morning. Certainly encouraged me. I tell you, brother, that working for the Lord, don't stop. Keep on working. Sisters, keep on working. Don't stop. There are souls to be saved. They want to know about Jesus. To go into all the world. Not just, not just here in this area. You gotta go tell people about the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. This evening, for the next while or two, I want to look at something. In Genesis 18, I appreciate the brother for reading. I want you to see that the question on the floor is even, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? I want to personally invite the, what's the name of the group? Soul, Soul Seekers. I want to personally, I'm the chairman of the Arkansas Christian Retreat. I want to invite you to come to my spring. Sing in front of some folks. And I tell you what, we would love to have you. Mm -hmm. uh, October 25th at 7 o'clock. Got a hot spring in so if you put you a hot spring. So if y'all can make it, we'd love to have you. And I tell you what, make sure you sing. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I got some beautiful voices. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's wonderful. So if you give me something, we'd love to have you. I'm just going to tell you, if y'all can't put your name on the program. <laughs> That's called faith, baby. <laughs> well, look at this here. These first five books, we're in the Old Testament here for a little while. Uh, these first five books of Old Testament are known to be some good history. Amen. Uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Uh, these First five books constitute the first division of the Hebrew canon of Scripture, which is commonly called the Law of Moses. They are the foundation of the Bible. They are they call the Book of the Beginnings of these first five. Called the Book of the Beginning, uh, uh, some good history. Many things took place in these first. Five. Somebody I'll say, is there anything Amen. too hard for the Lord? Yeah. Here, you're going to see the universe. You're going to see men and women. Mm -hmm. You're going to see sin and death. Mm -hmm. You're going to see promise and redemption. Mm -hmm. You're going to see origin and sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You're going to see diverse language and nations. Mm -hmm. You're going to see many things that take place in these first five books. And I want you to know today, the question is, is there anything too hard for the Lord? I want to know that if, if you can think about anything in your life, can you ask the question, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Just think about it. The Lord can, can take whatever you're going through, all your problems can work it out. And you you cry and worry about it. And the Lord will already work it out. You ought to be saying, ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. My Lord is able to do all things but fail. Yeah, man, Look at this book. You remember the great patriarch Abraham. The firstborn of the three sons. You're going to see that he was known as the father of many nations. He was a friend of God. They got a blessing to be a friend of God. Amen. Somebody says, anything too hard for the Lord. When we read Abraham's story, we, 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 we learn it's not just a story. There's more than just a story. It's a story of a man's life. 
It's a story of a man's life that's full of faithfulness. Anybody can say this even if anybody want to know a man that's faithful, the man like Abraham was a faithful man. And so we need more men like Abraham today that is faithful to God. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? As a result, we're gonna we gonna have better homes if we have more faithful men. If we have more faithful men, we have better communities. If we have more faithful men, we have better city. It'll be a better America. It'll be a better world. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? When you follow Abraham's life in the scripture, you're gonna see that he's a friend of God. Somebody will say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Say Abraham was a friend of the Lord. In Genesis chapter 11, you're gonna see that he he was a compassion taking place. In Genesis chapter 12, it was called trust in God. In Genesis chapter 13, he was a peacemaker. In Genesis chapter 14, he was a brave warrior. In Genesis chapter 15, he was a belief in God's promises. In Genesis chapter 17, names was changed. In Genesis chapter 18, you're going to see some generosity. And that's where I want to be right there. In Genesis chapter 18, the Lord prayed unto Abraham and he praised the Lord while he was sitting at the door of his tent. Can you imagine, can you imagine that the Lord just showed up at his place? And the Lord, just think about it, the Lord just showed up at his place. He was a friend of God. Somebody ought to be saying right now, it ain't nothing too hard for God. Somebody ought to say, no matter what you're going through, I got a friend. I'm a friend of the Lord. And whatever I'm going through, the Lord will work it out. Is anything too hard for the Lord? You got sickness in your life? Somebody ought to say, my God can fix it. You, you, got, you had death, lost love on in your life. God can comfort you. Ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. Yeah. I want you to see this story. And I want you to see this story because I want you to understand that we, we sometimes we give up and think we can't, we can't do nothing. Yeah. You think we can't make it. But let me tell you something. I know a God that can do absolutely whatever he want to do, when he want to do it. His name is Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There was a lady, by the name, you, you know who I'm talking about. You know Sarah, his wife. And she she, she wanted to laugh because the Lord told her already, well, already told her, look here, you're gonna bear a seed. And he, and she started laughing. In my old age, she started to laugh. Well, let me tell you something, don't ever laugh at God. Amen. Don't ever laugh at God. One thing about God, if God said he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Amen. If God said, I'm not tell you more, if God said it's gonna rain for a son, it takes a tub because it's gonna rain. If anything too hard for God, something, sometimes things look like it's impossible. It looks like it's difficult. It looks like it's bi biologically impossible. It's complicated. It looks like it's sad things it can't happen. It like technically it just can't be true. Mathematically, it can't happen. But let me tell you something. My God can do whatever he wants to do. Man, man, man. Oh yeah, he can set the stars in the middle of nothing and give, and give a, a, a light in the middle of the sky. Don't you know he can set the sun out there and call it the call it the east and go down in the west. Don't you tell me it ain't nothing hard for God. My God can do whatever he wants to do. My God can put men out of the water. The, the boat can break in pieces, but my God can allow for to make it in on broken pieces. Ain't nothing too hard for God. He can lay a man down in the grave by the name of Larry and look at the louder come forth. Is it anything too hard for God? Nothing too hard for God. He can and he will. And he'll do it when he gets ready. Is it anything too hard for God? He can take your life out of the sea, out of the sad pool of your world and change your life. Make you up new again. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Yeah, oh yeah, he can take you who had been, who had been bottled down, drugged out, out in a world of trouble. But God fixed you up, blessed you up, stood you up, and got you to church and cry. You ought to thank the Lord. Ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. Yeah. Oh yeah, preacher, you talking about me? I'm talking about every man, every woman who's been in that world. God can change it. Amen. God can do what He wants to do. Whatever He can do, ain't nothing too hard for God. Amen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, He took Jeff Miller. He took Jeff Miller out of Baptist church and put him in the church of Christ. Don't tell what that my God can't do. My God can make a way 
Somebody said you got some faith. Do you have faith today? Amen. Do you have the kind of faith? Do you have the kind of faith to look at? I don't see it, but I believe it. Amen. Oh, look around. So you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't see it. See, I see people in the views. I already see it. Look at our church. Look at our church. I, I, I see it already. Do you see it? You gotta have faith to believe that God will. You can't have a weak faith. You gotta have a strong faith. Oh yeah, I don't want to go there, but I'm going there. Lisa and I, we've been married 25, 65, 25 years. <laughs> Somewhere along with yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you. I used to run with two other guys in high school and college. One name was Andre, one name was Jim. Andre said, I never get mad. That's what he said. Jim would always say, I, I'm going to marry a city girl. I said, I ain't mad no old kids. That's what I said. But you have to understand what God is. Yeah. Yeah. Gerald said he won't marry a city girl. He married a country girl. <laughs> right now, I'm going to go where I live. Andre, who said he wasn't going to get married, but the first one to get married. <laughs> I said, I wasn't going to marry no old kids. Marry no old with two kids. <laughs> No. Nope. It ain't your will, but it's God's will. Amen. Whatever God's will, God's will will be done. Yeah. Oh, I feel like preaching now. Oh, you got to understand that God can make a way out of the way. Mm -hmm. See, we were, why you running around here talking about what God can't do? God can change you, folks. Oh, yeah, if he can do, create the universe, show it. Show it. of you. 
and release their powers. In two strokes and losses. Deputy have caused heart attack and spirit suicidal thought. Deputy have looted from, the, from, from you for being shameful. But more important, difficulties have infiltrated the Lord's church, devastated morals, strained relationships, called Jesus to lay the Bible down, yeah. called so many to the Lord on the sea. Difficulties have called men to realize, to, 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 for men to think that men are going to be with men. Difficulties mm. have called girls to think it's okay to be with girls. Difficulties yeah. have infiltrated our church. But until we realize, through all the difficulties of this world, ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. If anything too hard for the Lord, nothing too hard for the Lord. Mark chapter 9 and verse 23, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. In Mark chapter 10 and verse 27, for with God, all things are possible. For with God, church, all things are possible. Oh, yeah. I like what James said in James chapter 5 and we're all about verse number 16. The effective fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. David said, he said, Psalm 121. He said, I will lift up my eyes to the eagles. For we're talking about help. And I like he said, my help comes from the Lord. From the who made the heavens and the earth. Ain't nothing too hard for the Lord. Whatever you're going to do, trust God. He will bring you through. Amen. Let me tell you, church. He's able. See, God is like. <laughs> he's like Tony. He's a real thing. <laughs> oh, he's like McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I'm just nothing. God is like your relationship. He likes your past. God is like better asking. He still works one. God is like all our cause. He cares enough to send the very best. God is like time. He gets the same help that others leave behind. God is like Zeal for a half spring. He holds it through to gather some old cans of wealth. God is like down so aren't you glad you know him? And aren't you glad everybody else do? God is like sin. He is everything. God is like Octoceptor. Try him. You just might like him. He's like Scotch tape. You can't see him, but you know he's there. God is like American Express Star. Don't leave home without him. God is like Energizer. He just keeps going and going and going. God is like a cat dog. Frosty He's He just great. <laughs> Don't ever give up on God. God is good. Not sometimes, brother, but all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Let, 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 let me close. I'm going to do another one. Yeah, will I do another one? No. no. Thank you, brother. Let, 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 let me share this. Be careful how you treat folks. You never know when you're going to need them. Y'all have to say again. Two quick little things I'll let you know. You know, in this life, I tell people at least try to be friends to at least six folks. Well, at least six. Yeah. See, 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 let, let, let me just have you three brothers right here, please. If y'all come, yeah. Carl, Gil, and Brother Andy. <laughs> if y'all come, Brother Jones, I forgot your name. Yeah. Brother Mel, if you come. Good soul leader when you come. Mm -hmm. I, need, I just need you. Just three on this side and three on this side. And I need y'all to just look the other way. But I need you to come this way. Come back, brother. Come on back, brother Gil. Brother Jones, go to the beginning. Go to the, to the start of it. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't care what you're doing like me. Y'all just stay right there. <laughs> y'all just stay right there and tell me the other way. I don't care what you're doing in life. You may act like you don't ever need nobody. You may act like you got this thing all together. You never need a friend. But I want you to know that one day, one day you're going to need six good men. You're going to need three on one side. You're going to need three on the other side. And one day somebody will have to carry you to your final resting place. I tell you, the three folks right to the right while you live. You never know.